everybody, my name is Stephen Hattie and I am broker and co-owner of GoDominicanLife.com, your full service real estate agency here in the beautiful Dominican Republic, where we serve the entire North Coast, as well as Punta Cana, Bavaro, and Bayahibe areas. I just wanna tell you a little bit more about myself, where I come from, how I got here, and the whole story through that process. So I grew up in a very small fishing village in the east coast of Canada on the same, actually on the same ocean as what's right beside me here, it's hard to believe. But a uh, very small fishing village, it's literally just a point of land surrounded by, surrounded by the ocean, many islands, it's actually beautiful in the summertime, beautiful place, we'll show you some pictures. Um, and, and all I ever wanted to be growing up was a fisherman. That was the mainstay of my, of my area. Everybody wanted to be a fisherman. All my friends, most of my friends' fathers, that's what they were. Couldn't wait to be old enough to be done with school to be a fisherman. And eventually that's what happened. Um, I worked uh, in the stern of, as a stern man in boats as crew member for over a decade. Finally made captain, then captained various uh, different fishing boats for a number of years beyond that and uh, th th that was my dream and I had accomplished it. It was, it, was, it was amazing. It was quite a journey actually and it's very, very hard work. Um, afterwards, so, and lobster fishing was the main thing, lobster fishing. This is uh, very strictly regulated. It's a six month season and uh, so throughout the years in the off season, I fished for basically everything else there is in the North Atlantic. Um, yeah, everything. We did all kinds of, uh, it, it was amazing. Got to see so many things and it's a whole different, a whole different life, whole different world uh, on the ocean. Um, furthermore, later on, I kept hearing about uh, the oil industry in Alberta and all the big oil money. So I decided to head out there one year on the off season instead of fishing something different. So I went, went to Alberta, way up in the oil fields in the north. Uh, started working actually on drilling rigs uh, as a roughneck, more hard work, did all that stuff. Eventually I got my class one driver's license and was driving the big tanker trucks, which was, now this was a whole, this was a lot more fun, a lot better experience, not so hard work. It was pretty cool actually. Um, got to dry like maybe uh, you've seen the shows, drive it, the ice road truckers, okay, not going over huge expanses like that, but driving over roads that are only made in the winter time when everything's frozen, they come in and uh, they make roads through there so we can access different areas. Driving over, yeah, smaller lakes and stuff like that. So I did all that really cool stuff with these huge trucks. It was amazing actually. Uh, and yeah, not as hard work as being a roughneck on a drilling rig or a lobster fisherman. So all that good stuff. And um, how I got here, so, I bought, I bought my first home, before I bought my first home, I very first came to this island in the year 2000. So that's already, yeah, wow, a long time ago. And uh, in 2008, bought my first home here. In the, in the beginning, it was just a vacation home where I would come, uh, because of my uh, seasonal work, I could come for extended vacations if I chose to, if money allowed. So I could come a couple months at a time. And then, um, and then things happened that I'm, I'm I needed or I wanted, <laughs> both I guess at the same time, wanted to stay here. Um, my now ex-wife uh, became pregnant and I, I didn't want to have to keep traveling from Canada to here back and forth, back and forth for work purposes. So I focused on finding something to do here and uh, called up my old uh, office manager where, at the real estate agency where I bought my home initially and uh, offered to volunteer my time. Um, and he said, Steve, yeah, of course. Go see, uh, he named the two people that were there at the time, way back in the day. There's a desk for you. We'd be happy to see you again, have you help out. Uh, and, and I told them, you know, just, just to occupy my time. I didn't, you know, I didn't tell them anything more. Just want to occupy my time. I'm on extended vacation. And I literally never left. Right away, I saw there was opportunity. I saw it was very, it was very fun in, in, in learning. I had been coming here to Las Serenas for already years at the time, vacationing, and I thought I knew the town well. 
But then when I started to have to find uh, different places work related where you're forced to go in the little side streets and the off roads and the back passages, I found new places in this town that absolutely blew me away f literally for years. It, it's unbelievable. I, I couldn't believe there was so much that I didn't know when I already thought I knew the town. So um, that's how I began. I began by, by literally by volunteering and, um, and it, all, it all took off from there. Okay, so before diving right in about uh, working here, real estate, business, and what, what I do professionally, I'll tell you just a little bit about moving here, the transition, because there's a lot, of, a lot of interesting things, let's say, a lot of interesting things included, uh, involved in that move from the east coast of Canada to the beautiful Dominican Republic. Um, I absolutely love it. I still very much love visiting in Canada in the summertime, but I do really prefer living here that's the truth um, for many different reasons I came here and, and past clients of mine will have heard this a million times I came here for the climate and I fell in love with the freedom everything I think probably there's as many laws and regulations and restrictions that there is written in Canada but a lot less enforced here things are more tranquilo like they say you know we are on an island um, and, and it's true what they say about island time is another thing a very real thing Things are a little bit slower, but everything in general is just a little more not so strict, not so hard, and I absolutely love that. Um, another thing is the language. So I spoke zero Spanish when I came here, and uh, that was a challenge, but when, when the challenge presented, when I had to use it, when I had to learn, um, it's learnable. And now, okay, I'll never fool a Dominican on the telephone that I'm a fellow Dominican, but I can get by in any situation. I'm very proud of that. That's, that's really good. It's still a work in process, fine tuning all the little details now, but that's, that's very good. I like that a lot, that I can now speak Spanish. Uh, another thing here, so when I arrived, one of the main reasons, yeah, I have two boys here, you know? So I was late becoming a father, but uh, this is where I experienced fatherhood, you know? And I have my two boys here who I can't wait to go see, play, uh, to go see them play soccer later on. They play five days a week. Uh, absolutely love that, so that's what I do every day after work, go pick them up from soccer, watch the last 10 or 20 minutes. And other than that, um, yeah, it's a different way of life here, just a little slower going, a little more, just like I said, in, in general, more relaxed, more laid back. I think most people know that about on the islands here. It's a very real thing. So uh, I love it. We're filming this in January, imagine. This is how we dress every day. Doesn't matter if it's August, January, February, March, doesn't matter. It's beautiful, it's sunny, we put on shorts and we enjoy the climate. So diving into real estate, uh, yeah, like I explained in the beginning, was just volunteering my time and, uh, and uh, fell in love with it right away. Uh, saw the opportunity, saw the challenges, uh, but was definitely up for that. And uh, couldn't, I just, I, I wanted to learn. I couldn't wait to learn more, to know more, to, to just to experience it all. Um, so worked for another real estate agency as a as just an independent sales agent. Got to know the ropes little by little uh, by getting new listings, by writing the new listing agreements. I remember when that was such a big complicated thing, and and uh, and then you know after a while, my first sale, things got better, things picked up. Continuously learning. It's a it's still a learning process. Life is a learning process. So uh, it was very interesting, got to meet some great people um, along the way, still meeting great people every day. That's, that's the fantastic thing here. It's this market, you meet people from all over the world on a daily basis, and, and I absolutely love that. And most of them are excellent. So that's, that's fantastic. You, never, you know, it's a new day every day. Great things come, great people arrive, uh, and we show them beautiful places on this wonderful island. So after, after a while, I, I met uh, who is now my business partner. Um, met him at a restaurant. We were just talking about different things, uh, Patrick. 
Patrick owned a real estate franchise in Canada for, God, I don't know, 15, 20 years, a long time. He had lots, lots of experience and had strengths that I didn't have. I had strengths that he didn't have. We kept in touch, talking, this and that. We had ideas that kind of fell to the wayside. And then after a while, um, we said, we said, okay, let's, let's do this. Let's, let's do it. Let's form a company. We'll do it ourselves. And that's what led us to, uh, to what we call now Go Dominican Life Real Estate Solutions. Um, very proud of what we built. A lot of hard work, a lot of hours, a lot of people involved. We've got a, a great team now that's continuously growing as well into new areas, new, uh, new offices, new people all the time. Um, and it's fantastic. It's, it's, it's a lot of work, can be stressful, but uh, again, what, what pays off, what pays off for me, my payday is, you know, seeing happy people. Find, when you see somebody that finds the look on their face, when they find what they absolutely love, that's priceless, that's awesome. You know, of course, we earn a little bit of money in commissions, uh, but money comes and goes always, always has, always will. Um, but when you, when you see people that look, I absolutely love that, I love that, that drives me. So uh, this is what we do, this is where we do it. We get to enjoy this weather, this climate all the time, beautiful island. Um, like I say, always on our, on our property videos, just on the individual property videos, we're a full, a full uh, service real estate agency, not just sales, we do property management, short term rentals, we have, uh, we're, we're encompassing everything, we want to take care of you. Uh, and I understand also, we understand, this is not just a regular market. This is, a, you know, people coming from different countries normally um, that don't speak the language so well in most cases. Just like I was when I purchased here, I knew zero Spanish, knew nobody. So I remember the nervous, exciting, happy, scared, all these emotions all in one. I remember that. And, and we worked uh, alleviating that stress and that anxiety because uh, everything is doable here. You just need to have the right people, the right connections, and things will get done flawlessly. So that's what we're here for, to help you always from step one right to the end. We lead you along this process and, and it is very simple, really. We got the right people for it. I hope you enjoyed the quick uh, personal story I just shared with you. Um, I hope I didn't ramble too long. I could have went a lot more. I'm getting old. I am 51. Um, and I mean, lots happened through my lifetime. That was just a condensed, uh, a condensed version. Um, but anyway, I really hope you enjoyed it, just so you know me a little more personally. Um, always feel free to reach out to us. You have our contact information here. Never hesitate. It's always a pleasure. That's literally what we are here for, to assist you, to guide you, to show you beautiful, beautiful properties and just bring you on this journey here in the Dominican Republic.